Good morning, friends, and welcome to Monday, March 21st. Barb Baker starts us off with Thou Art Worthy. devotion is in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Julia Seymour. The scripture reading this morning is Joshua 5, 9 through 12. And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away from you the disgrace of Egypt. And so that place has been called Gilgal to this day. And while the Israelites were camped in Gilgal, they kept the Passover in the evening of the 14th day of the month in the plains of Jericho. On the day after the Passover, on that very day, they ate the produce of the land, unleavened cakes and parched grain. The manna ceased on the day that they ate the produce of the land, and the Israelites no longer had manna. They ate the crops of the land of Canaan that year. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Surely the disgrace of Egypt belongs to Egypt. The shame of having enslaved other persons and having them escape, the embarrassment to Egypt's gods, this should be ascribed to the Pharaoh and his associates. Why would the people of Israel, the enslaved people, have disgrace ascribed to them? We are not only marked by the history of our actions, we are also shaped and scarred by how others have acted towards us. Our ancestors experienced stresses and pains that continue to affect us through family stories. Even more deeply, things like enslavement and pogroms and wars shape our epigenetics, stirring deep responses within us that are beyond our understanding. The disgrace of Egypt lingered with the people of Israel in their fear, their question about their ancestors, and their understanding of the very nature of God. If divine intervention could bring them into freedom, why were they permitted to be enslaved at all? They are able to embrace fully the joy and possibility of Canaan only when the reproach and shame of the past is lifted. This kind of burden does not fall away instantly. God's provision for the people through their wilderness wandering removed the burden slowly. And through each bite of manna, God rebuilt trust with the people of Israel. Through each sip of clean water, the people of Israel perceived the power and the mercy of the one 
in whom their hope was anchored. The disgrace of Egypt defined them by pain and by the actions of others. The promise of Canaan redefined them as a people who had been led and fed by God. Thus equipped by grace, they ate the produce of the land and feasted on the promise of tomorrow. Let us pray. O oh, providing God, strengthen our trust that we are not defined by the worst things that we have done or that have happened to us. Our identity is as your beloved child and children, equipped by grace to share your hope in the world. Amen. Our closing hymn is Leaning on the Everlasting Arms, verse 3. Thank you. 